<laughs> they locked you out. Guess we better poke around the old neighborhood. See what sort of a... Acquaintances are looking to reconnect. One looks easy. It's easy is what we're all about. What is what you said? Valhalla? This is purpose for glory. Satisfying Valhalla. A moderate challenge. Your challenge was Heading back to the cage, are we? Hollow is giving you a second chance. This time, Kratos. Wait, no, don't tell me. The suspense is honestly the only thing. To Here's a random thought for you. Maybe it only 
counts as a sacrifice if you give up someone you value. Why are you? Cyclops, you'll never guess their weak spot. Now. Tia. The invitation was yours. I would have signed it. But it was important you come here for your own reasons. Then you're not an illusion. You're in the flesh, old friend. What do you want? I know what you're wrestling with, Spartan. I understand it better than you realize. The shame. The doubt. The question I could find no answer for until I came here. Lifetimes ago. Stepped through that door. What is in there? I'm not here to spoil that for you. Only to help you prepare. Why? Because I can. Because for us, fighting occupies the body while our minds work out the rest. Because you're not ready. Yet. Are you attacking us? Whoa. Consider it a kind of trial by combat from here. When Kratos can get the better of me, we'll know his mind has done the work. Be ready. Clever one, Kratos. Focus, Kratos. A man at war with himself places a deficit upon his focus. 
He is impatient, emotional, easily surprised. A man at one with himself has a clearer mind, sharper instinct. That man is ready to win. That man is ready to progress. Done, Kratos. I yield. Good then. Perhaps you are ready now. Am I? Honestly, nobody can truly say that but you. want to buy a slightly more hospitable environment. We're all impressed by your progress, General. We've never seen anyone engage Valhalla quite the way you have. Sigrun. How fares your journey? We have uncovered our host. It is Tyr. Tyr, you say? Aye, and no projection either. I never knew his connection to Valhalla was so strong. But then, he goes back further than I do. Fascinating. Kratos, I'm glad to see you're back inside. It seems Valhalla has arranged something special for you in the throne. See you again soon, Kratos. <laughs> 
this. You remember this, Kratos. The memory is vivid. A familiar scene to any that know your legend. A man at the crossroads of a fateful decision. Aye, you've spoken of this, brother. The pact you made with Ares. To stave off the barbarian horde. The day I sold my soul to a god of war. Why show me this? Where? If I had to guess, probably to make you feel like the piece of shit you are. Is he necessary? He's no part of my design. He's either Valhalla's or yours. <sighs> At least he hasn't replaced me again. Not yet, anyway. Seems a real charmer. A memory fragment of your time in Alfheim, then. Tell me, who was Kratos of Sparta the day you made your pledge to Ares? I was the youngest captain in the Spartan army. I had gained a reputation for my skills in combat, my command of the battlefield, but also my aggression. I was determined to never lose, and until then, never had. My men were loyal, fiercely so. How many Spartans? Not enough that day. How many barbarians? Thousands. Worth what it'll cost you. I wonder.
dear. Why help prepare me to take your old position? Why not fulfill it yourself? You seem capable. To the mortals of these realms, I am an ancient myth, long out of mind. The days I could hope to unify these realms are long past. But they see you as the hero of Ragnarok. You are known and respected. And from what I have seen, you are the most qualified by far. You need only be ready. Well, this is an unusual little corner of Valhalla, isn't it? Let's see what else we can find in here. Careful, who knows what's waiting for you in that night. Other bastards about to explode! I think we're meant to choose one chest or the other. Shall we have a look? Ah! <laughs> 
Should be able to make our way up now. Ready? Satisfied. What a thrill! I must say, it's genuinely hard to think of anything stupider than pledging your soul to Ares of all people. I mean, any of Zeus's brood are bound to be garbage, present company by no means excluded. But Ares made a real art out of being vicious and depraved. Though, I suppose I can't begrudge you your role model. I see you still use the blades he gave you. Can you really say you regret a decision? and still keep benefiting from the trappings of that decision? I'm not sure, I'm just asking. You ever try to do the math on how many people die as a result of your little collaboration? Like contemplating the grains of sand on a beach, isn't it? Just overwhelming, honestly. <laughs> Thank you. 
Like someone left you a party favor. Oh, and it's a symbolic totem of your shame. That's so thoughtful. Oh, now you've done it. You're being judged. And we all know your past actions wouldn't pass muster with anybody. Oh, I meant to ask. How did you like setting yourself on fire? Truly entertaining stuff. Sorry to miss how it ended up. I think maybe you still have some ash on your skin. Am I crazy? Can you think? What a thrill. Oh! 
Target Valhalla's mark. Pick something and let's go. Welcome back, Kratos. I brought something else to keep things interesting. You're not the only one with weapons from far off lands, you know. Ready? Proud! I could not accept defeat! 
I crave power. Is that all? Are you sure? Nothing more to that story? Nothing else under the surface? Behind you, brother! Be ready! Kratos. Very well. I believe you found an understanding within yourself. Shall we see? Fools. It's not only memories. Indeed. For what is a memory apart from our perspective on it? You know the evils that came of your pact. You know the evils within yourself. Yes, these you dwell on. But it's not that simple, is it? The Horde is vast, brother. What would have happened if you didn't stop it? Our lands would have been overrun. Our people killed, violated. People your army was sworn to protect. An army led by you. Did you not feel a duty to fulfill your purpose? Did you not fear for the safety of your homeland? You saved them. You would excuse my actions? Excusing them is not the exercise, Kratos. Only accepting them. Accepting that you acted based on what you knew then, not on what was to come. Your motivation and their consequences are far more complicated than you let yourself believe. Hmm. I think perhaps you have more to process. Yes, I have much to think about. I will return. And I will be waiting. So it's Tyr's game you're playing? This is all his idea? A game is not his purpose. There is something here I must see through. And what is that exactly? A process. <sighs> all right. If it's helping, I trust you both. We all do. As we trust in Valhalla. Even after what it did to you? I knew the rules and chose to break them. I regret nothing. You must strike a balance between discipline and creativity. We did more things and more things to do. Check. You'll beat Valhalla at its own game. I know that. It's encouraging to know Valhalla wants to help. Benefits good to last.
since we keep going back in, I take it this process is working for you somehow. Yes. Succeed or fail. I feel progress. Clarity. I need to see it through. Very good, brother. An infamous act, one they still spoke of in the years of rebuilding. I somehow doubted they meant it so literally. I'll give you this, brother. Your technique has improved immeasurably. I needed his power to secure my vengeance against the gods. I believed I had no choice. No choice? You could have not ripped my head off my body. That was absolutely an option. And he's back. But that wasn't the worst of it, was it, Kratos? Killing me deprived Greece of the sun. They were plunged into perpetual cold and darkness. Crops ceased to grow. Famine descended on our homeland. Not that you care. Enough. He is better, isn't he? Kratos. I'm curious. Your decision to behead me, was it fueled by any personal motivations? Or was it really just a means to an end? It was not personal. I did know him long before I killed him. He was as insufferable as any god. But his death brought me no satisfaction. Did you know what would happen as a result? When Helios was captured by the god of dreams, the lands fell into darkness, and were not restored until his return. I knew exactly what would happen. and it takes this one.
Kratos, I hope you forgive me for overhearing. But before you first found your way to me, you were grappling with the symbolism of your former secret power. May I offer a perspective? You may. Before I became God of War, I felt as head of as you did. I feared that taking the throne would only validate Odin's power hierarchy, which even then I didn't trust. But I decided I could wield a better influence on the inside than on the outside. There are many ways to lead, and not all of them involve ruling. The throne and the office are the only what you bring to them. Well, I was gonna bring to you on that one. What's your Good. The route to the higher area ought to be open now. It may be just for this try, but a little assist would be nice. Things. 